Hey everyone, welcome back to another sim video. This is a speed build. And I just wanted to do some quick updates. Uh, Happy Accidents is working on some major projects for October 2021. So be on the lookout for those in October. And so that means our YouTube channel might be a little bare. Um, it, it's been kind of bare for the past couple of months, but we're working on some really big projects. And also check out our website. We got that all revamped and redid in August and it went live at the beginning of this month in September. Also check out the August this month. We interviewed Al Gernin Skyestua, who is the art department of Happy Accidents. So go check that out. And for this speed build, um, I made the Tuba City Public Library um, in Western Navajo Nation. So if you've seen it driving on Main Street, yeah, that's, that's what I'm building here. And I think it looked pretty close on the outside. Obviously, uh, I couldn't find the bricks to match it perfectly, and I may have been a window or so short, but I think I did a really good job overall. I'm kind of mad at myself because I didn't upload this to the internet online gallery before I updated my computer. And so I lost the game file. So when I updated my computer's hard drive and RAM and all that other stuff, I had to reinstall Sims and I lost all those files from those previous games and the stuff that I did for the in the past. So this building is gone and I'm kind of mad about that so that's why it took me a while to get it posted to post this video up um, but I'm going to redo the Tuba City library build and try and make it as close as I can to this one um, yeah <laughs> so don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any other Navajo Nation buildings you'd like me to recreate and put in some of my gameplays or let's plays, um, comment them down below. So the Tuba City Library has this basement and it's kind of like a conference rooms and also somewhere down there there's the Coconino County Voters Office sometimes, <laughs> but I, I've never seen the Coconino County Voters Office, so I don't know what it looks like. So I just made the conference halls and the bathrooms at the bottom. I think I did a really good job recreating the library. I've only been in there a few times, and the last time I was there was definitely before the pandemic happened maybe a year before the pandemic happened I was uh, invited to go to um, a book club and if you know me you know I'm not a big reader but I was trying to be very scholarly and joined a book club but for that time that that meeting I was invited to join the book club like the day before the meeting happened, so I didn't have a chance to read the book, um, but it was nice discussions and talking with people down in that basement. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and just a reminder, um, Happy Accidents does have a Buy Me a Coffee account, and with that you can get a sticker of the month or you can download a print of the month and that's where you can also reach me to schedule 
a little mini photo session if you're in the northern Arizona region. <laughs> so you should go check that out and see what we have posted up there. In the Tuba City Library, there's like a kids reading section. And so I just, um, I don't know, spammed, dumped all the kids learning stuff in that little corner off to the side. Yeah, so that's what I did there. Just trying to make it look as kindergarten, head start-esque as I could. Which I have a lot of experience in because during the summers of when my mom was a kindergarten teacher, I would help her set up the classroom. So I have a lot of experience in setting up kindergarten classrooms, specifically. It's a really weird skill to have, but <laughs> it's what I have. Um, I remember going to the Tuba City Library when I was in middle school because we had like to do like book reports and stuff. So I don't know. For me, I always remember it being like kind of dark and dusty. I don't know if anyone else had those experiences at the Tuba City Library. And it was definitely a place where a lot of people went to get on the computers. So let's stay. I haven't been there in a while, obviously. I think the main office right now is closed and you can only just check out the books through online or phone order. I tried recreating it from memory as best I could. I think there, I know the library desk or whatever isn't right there in the actual library. It's kind of towards the back, but I figured it looked better there anyways for the librarian. And obviously the books, the bookshelves and stuff aren't actually scaled to what is in an actual live IRL library, but you know, you try to, I guess, make it as you, best you can to translate it to The Sims. And I know like the library has like this weird back building where it's just kind of very cold and empty so I tried to fill up mine with chairs and the chess table. For Sims you have to have at least one chess table in, in, in order for it to be considered a library. So some of these Sims builds they have like specific requirements um, of what buildings can be categorized as. Yeah, so I put some um, research Li um, computers down that I got from the Sims University expansion pack. And then I used a lot of the scientific posters and images you'd get from the Strangerville, Strangerville pack. <laughs> um, and this is where it is set, this is where I'm building at, is it in Strangerville? And I like the Strangerville pack a lot because it's very southwestern, and that's where I'm from, Arizona, southwestern. They kind of made it look like Monument Valley, and it's kind of funny that like almost every southwestern representation ends up being Monument Valley or the Saguaro Cactus, even though those are two separate climates and two separate ecosystems so the saguaro cactus actually does not grow in the painted desert which is where monument valley is those are two separate deserts and it's kind of funny when you see that in mainstream that's how they represent the southwest desert even though there's various levels of elevation climates and ecosystems within arizona alone not even talking about the whole southwest area so it's just kind of funny, but a lot of the clothing and styles are very Southwest Arizonian a little bit, kind of like Sedona, <laughs> um, if, if you've ever been to Sedona or have seen Sedona. It, it's kind of like that type of thing. <laughs> um, so I use a lot of the clothing and the, air, the stuff in that area because it just reminds me of home and it's nice seeing 
some semblance of where you're from in a really big video game. Not to get too much onto like representation, but you know, it kind of warms the heart when you see something familiar. Yeah, so I'm just reorganizing stuff and like looking into the decoration pool catalog area and just pulling out all like the sciency. Um, not sci. Uh, what's the other word? Scholarly. Uh, educational stuff like I, I use the cheat to unlock um, hidden objects or live edit objects to get the science fair projects taken out and then because I believe one time when I was in the library they actually had on display some students projects and reports so I always thought that was a fun thing at a library to have is the different kids works posted up and presented so I just put them in the conference room it was a nice place to put it um, yeah <laughs> just going through the whole build and everything and we're getting to the end um, usually after people do these like speed edits they do like a quick little tour and jump in and look at the lot a little bit better but like I said I completely lost this file so this is all we have of it um, if you want to see more builds like this of like random buildings from the Navajo reservation let me know and also leave any suggestions that you have and maybe I can go to the building and try and scope it out but thanks for watching the whole video Bye. 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 Bye.